Yo, it's good job, boys. Y'all chilling? Shit, I'm chilling. I finally finished my semester of college. Now it's time to be on that YouTube grind. Weekly uploads, you for me? But enough about shit that I ain't gonna do. One thing I am gonna do is I'm finna beat my kids. Mm. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not gonna abuse them niggas now. I just gotta instill in them that if you acting crazy, you might get rocked. Because out in these streets, you act crazy, nigga, you might get popped. But anyway, anyways, was y'all niggas punished as a kid? Because I could tell some of y'all niggas. Huh. You know what I found interesting though? Different cultures have different punishments. You got your typical yelling at your kids, you're grounded for a week, go to your room, you know, white punishment. Then you have ass whoopings, but shut the f up, bitch. You know, more black punishments. And then you have the foreign niggas who have the worst punishments by far. Shit, I had this one friend from Ghana. My man told me his parents made him stand still and touch his toes. It don't sound that bad till you realize how long he was doing it. And worry till if he moved even an inch, nigga got whooped while he was in that position. Nigga's ass was all out and everything. That's bad for business. Then you have my Asian friend. He had told me one time he was talking crazy. So his mom's had taken chili powder and rubbed that shit in between his gun and his lips. This shit was burning. That's tough. The fuck I gotta do with you though, right? Yeah, I know. My bad. I'm chatting. My typical punishments, you know, I have my ass whoopings, my yellings. But then you had a lot of worse shit. But today's not the day to expose all that. Today we're gonna talk about a time where I got hit with the four piece nugget combo. Mink, 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 mink. Four for four at Wendy's type shit. Shit, I've been over here blabbing long enough. This intro almost two minutes. So let me get into the juiciness. I so boom. Let me set the scene. It was a Friday morning. Beautiful morning. Birds chirping, sunny day. No, let me stop. <laughs> It was a regular, regular ass Friday morning. I woke up feeling sick as f I ain't gonna hold you, but I had to take my ass to school. At this point, my grades were really bad, so I couldn't really ask my mom to stay home. She would dub that shit. So I take my ass to school, drudge through a long ass day. The whole day, I'm just waiting to go home. It's about to be the weekend. I'm about to sleep off this sickness. Just get some good ass rest. Of course, when you waiting for the day to pass, that shit gonna take forever. So it was a long ass day, but finally the day finished. So now it's time for me to go home, right? And see, I done already told y'all niggas this, but I'ma tell y'all again, cause I know some of y'all niggas be losing it sometimes. But it take me two hours to get to and from school from my home at that time. So hop on the A train, to hop on the E train, and the E train supposed to take me all the way back to Jamaica Center, the last stop, which is where I got off and took the bus. But shit, if you ride the MTA, you already know how that shit rock. If it ain't one thing. It's the next. I think this day some nigga got pushed on the tracks on some shit. But there was a long ass delay. I'm talking two hours to a two hour commute. Now it became four hours, nigga. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. This is your announcer. Uh, just wanted to inform you customers that uh, we're having extensive delays due to a customer being launched on the tracks. He was turning to ground beef. Sorry for the inconvenience. And remember, if you see something, say something. Oh my fucking god. So I got out of school at 4 and my curfew at this time was 7 like I said I was on punishment but a 4 hour delay meant I got home at 8 so I'm an hour late. So I walk in the house and the moment I walk in all I see is my ma dukes. I was already on punishment and now I was late so of course she started chatting bullshit. I didn't really give a f though like I said I was sick and I was tired and I just had gone through 4 hours of train ride so I took my ass upstairs and just ignored whatever she said. I ended up getting in my bed and going to sleep. On a side note it's not like could have did anything at home anyways one of the conditions of our punishment was the wi-fi got taken i don't know if you noticed that's probably the worst punishment you could do on any kid of this generation at this point niggas need wi-fi for everything shit we don't got cable no more so you need wi-fi for the hulu netflix all that you need wi-fi for youtube and all that shit instagram social media for your phone to work ps4 games all that Man, you can't do nothing without wi-fi what i'm about to do read a book nigga write an entry in my journal y'all niggas bugging i'm chatting back to the topic at hand so the next day i woke up brushed my teeth shower i was feeling a little better but i was hungry because i hadn't eaten pretty much that whole day i wasn't really feeling it so i headed downstairs for some breakfast i looked in the sink and i realized oh oh if you know you know i went to sleep and i ain't do no chores and my chore that day was the 
dishes. I had the sweep, I might have got away with it. It's not like my mom's just sitting there inspecting each individual grain on the floor to see if I swept. But it's gonna be pretty obvious if I didn't do the dishes. There's gonna be a sink full of dishes. So as soon as I get downstairs and see that, I'm about to rush and do them. I'm thinking maybe she ain't seen them from last night. No, nigga. I hear a noise behind me. Guess who it was? Oh, no. I felt my Maduk's eyes just piercing into the back of my skull, just waiting to volley. So explain to me why the fuck these dishes ain't done. Um, I mean, I had fallen asleep last night and I low-key forgot to- Look, I don't wanna hear none of them bullshit ass excuses. First you're late, now your lazy ass can't do chores. How am I lazy? Like maybe if y'all ain't expect me to come home and wash y'all's dishes and did it yourselves, we wouldn't be in this situation. <laughs> Excuse me? Watch your tone. I'm tired of the constant disrespect. Man, it's not even disrespect. It's the truth. Sometimes the truth hurts, and I mean, it's not my fault. You can't accept it. After I sat down, I'm feeling a little empowered. I'm thinking like, yeah, I really said one to her. I really put her in her place. I really did something with that one. But if I'm keeping it a buck... All I really did was set myself up for failure. Those words in of itself was me instigating my own ass whooping. I must be a master instigator cause she did not like that comment at all. She had her phone in her hand. She wound it up. And next thing you know, mink, cracked the top of my bean. And bro, I ain't gonna lie, that shit kinda really hurt. I don't remember being too happy after that. But the instant she cracked me, I spun around for a quick second. I was about to swing, bro. I swear, it was an instantaneous crack. It's human nature to immediately want to swing back. But thank God I didn't, because I would have hit her with a mong sleeper. And that would have been pretty bad. She either would have been asleep on the floor, or she would have just turned around and started smoking me even more. I would have got waxed. That would have been worse, probably. Well, actually, I don't know. But of course, I came to my senses, and I did not hit my mom. I would never, but she sure as hell would hit me, cause nigga that's what she did again. Mink. At this point, my bean was hurting type crazy. I just caught two pieces of the dome from a cell phone, bars. But at this point, I'm thinking that it's over. So I turn around and I turn on the water to start doing the dishes. Next thing you know, mink. And this one probably hurt the most. Cause my back was turned and I heard a crack and felt the juices in my bean, bro. My vision is tight, one a little black around the edges, you know what I'm talking about? If we was playing Wii Sports Boxing at this point, I would have been down to my last few little pie pieces. One more good mink and I would have been out for the count. But I'm guessing at this point, after receiving three cracks of the bean, my shit was starting to go a little bit numb. Cause after the fourth one, yes, there was a fourth one, mink. I didn't really feel too much. So I decided to be a little bold and I turned back around and I just started staring her in her eyes and she stared at me back. But that got awkward real fast. So I turned back around and continued to do the dishes. Then she just walked away. She went upstairs. On her way upstairs, I'm sure she was chatting bullshit, but I wasn't really trying to hear it, nor did I really care. I had a headache and I didn't even think I deserved all that. But eventually I finished doing the dishes. I was gonna eat breakfast. That was my original plan. That's the reason I even went downstairs. But at this point, I was feeling kind of sad, so I didn't even bother making anything. I just went back upstairs and laid in my bed. While I was in my bed, I actually got really, really sad because I was thinking about it, and I had just gotten f***ed up, and there was nothing I could do about it. No funny shit, I was f***ed. Even though I had basically just woken up, my pussy ass went right back to sleep, or I got put to sleep from all those cracks. I'm not sure. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just need to make this clear. I was not abused as a kid. Some of my mom's punishments were definitely a little bit overboard and uncalled for, but it made me the man I am today and I don't hold it against her. Just had to put that in there. Uh, yeah, that's the end of the story, so it's time for the wise words. Lesson number 13, nigga. Uh, I don't know. Don't disrespect your parents, I guess. Uh, actually, no. Lesson number 13. Come home by a curfew. And lesson number 14. Be a damn chores. If you're still watching, why you no subscribe to me? But anyways, I'm out this bitch.